Good morning, everyone. Today is officially the start of day six of the Seeking Bronze Tour, and I'm very, very excited. Like, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted something last night that I'm ultra honored and humbled by the opportunity to present this series to you guys. I'm very excited to show you guys uh, everything that goes into catching these big smallmouth and doing it with my best friends in the world. Mr. Mikey Balls, Caleb from Bass Quest, Thad, Josh from Pioneer Outdoors, my buddy Nathan, and my buddy Alex. My buddy Alex is like my best friend in the whole world. So we're actually down here in Detroit. We're picking him up here in a little bit. His flight got delayed a little bit, but after we pick him up, we're gonna go out fishing today. Um, we're gonna probably go out to Lake Huron. We're gonna try to go out to the big water today and make things happen. The wind is basically flat calm. Um, and so what that means is hopefully we'll be able to make a long run. We'll be able to get out there and be able to maybe sight fish. The water should have warmed up pretty quick. It's been pretty warm. It's like 65, 70 degrees right now at 10 o'clock in the morning. And Alex is actually texting me. Last year this time these fish were pulling up to spawn. I think it's going to be the same case this year. The weather's right, the wind is right, and the moon is right. We have a new moon which essentially is no moon in the sky which means it's very dark overnight. Um, and a lot of times when you get those moons, whether it's a new moon or a full moon, th that really makes those fish want to pull up and spawn. That's going to be your first wave and second wave. Uh, and when everything lines up like this, hopefully we're going to get on an absolutely mega fish. This is the time of year to do it. Right now in fall is when you can catch the biggest fish of the year. So I'm very excited to try and get Alex on his personal best because last year we caught a 5'8". This year I want to catch a 6-pounder with him. So this isn't even me joking around or being a goof. I'm pretty sure that's Alex's flight. So we'll see here in a minute. Um, but like that's an American. He's flying American. His flight's supposed to come in right around now. So that might actually be Alex right there. I don't know how he expects to fit that in the truck. Hi, how are you? I pull up, Alex has a 10 foot thing called the bazooka tube <laughs> that he took through security. <laughs> yeah, I bought me a flambeau rod tube that is 112 inches long. And uh, I didn't even notice it said bazooka on it. I'm honestly glad TSA didn't like cavity check me or something. Sir, you're gonna have to come over here. Sir, uh, are you the one that checked in the bazooka tube? Yeah, sir, please come here. Hi, ah, I'm here now. You gonna go catch some fish? Dude, we're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna go home, get the boat, gonna and go catch fish. Gonna crack some giants. Yo, so you guys know that I work with Garmin. Well, check out what I got hooked up with for this season. Now, I do work with Garmin. I'm associated as a Garmin ambassador. Um, so that's why I talk about the products, but I really do believe everything that they put out. That's why I'm running three of the transducers on my trolling motor, two graphs up front and one graph at the console. The touch screen's nice, but up here when it gets really cold and you wear gloves, very, very hard to work. That's why I run button units almost everywhere. The 1242 XSV unit, this is the button unit. It's basically an upgraded model of the 1040 XS that I'm currently running. And I'm super, 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 super excited to run this. I'm gonna put this at the console. I'm gonna pull that one up front here. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet. It might go at the console, it might, it's going to be a little shuffle in the graph, but we're going to catch some big small also. I'll catch you guys here in a little bit out on the lake. We have waited, what, like 360 days to do this again. Yes. This trip is what I look forward to for like a year, and I'm super excited. Look at this. The wind is laying down. It's very, very calm, and we're out here catching big smallmouth. Um, so I'm trying to get Alex on these big fish. Part of seeking bronze is getting these dudes on their biggest fish of their lives. So... That's my goal. I want to help these dudes catch some giant smallmouth and just enjoy Michigan. Uh, and really kind of selfishly, I want to catch my personal best too. So we're going to try to make all of that happen here in the next couple of days with the beard, the myth, the legend. This is going to be a challenge video. How many fish can I catch while Alex picks out this backlash? There. Yep. yep. Boom! Ha! Dark fish, man. Pretty. Pretty fish. Not a giant, but that is a good one. That is a great way to start the Seeking Bronze Tour with my buddy, A Rudd. Ooh. Seeking Bronze, baby! Oh, it's a pretty fish. It's a pretty fish. Awesome, Look at that right there. A little magic flick on a little whack-a-sack rig, and that boy's got choked. Well, they're probably looking to spawn. The water's damn near close enough for him to be on beds. 
That's so much fun, dude. Good net job. When they get super dark like that, I thought he was. Yeah, especially that deep. I can't tell. Might be. Big old drum master. Oh, the drum. Yeah. I can tell by the way he's digging. Just give him the pliers. I don't want to deal with this bitch. Got him? Yep. Digging. Good one? Yep. Oh, yeah. Alex has his first fish. Oh, yeah, dude. Got Oh. oh, Alex. You know what? How does that happen? I don't know how that happened, but you probably can't see the hook point roll. Right here, right here, right here. Come on, swimming. Don't hit the water, you dick. Dude. <laughs> ben, can you see? Can you, can you see? <laughs> <laughs> Like that is why it's so important to have such a high speed reel. Dude, that's a big drum. Oh god. Just net this one so if it breaks me off, I at least get my thing back. <laughs> Look at that. Multi-species angler. For those of you bass fishermen that come out and catch smallmouth on the Great Lakes. We don't. We catch drum. This oh, we're good at. right here is gonna be something that you're gonna have to deal with. When the sun gets high like this, these fish suck tight to the bottom. So like, where you could typically throw a drop shot, you want to throw something low along the bottom. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of interesting, especially like when you're on a really good bite, especially a good drop shot bite, and it gets slick, and you can't catch them anymore. Tie on like a tube or a, I'm throwing a whack a sack with a magic flick on there and go to town. A rod with the first smallmouth of the trip. Good work, dude. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Look Isn't at that them pretty? red eyes on that thing, man. That's such a pretty fish. That is a beautiful fish. All right, there it is. First piece of bronze of the trip. So this is what you guys don't typically see in our videos. The struggle that it takes to catch some fish. Today is one of those struggles. Bluebird skies. Backlashes. No wind. Alex backlashed about 17 and a half times. <laughs> Um, 17 and a quarter, thank you. Caught two smallmouth, a few drum, some pike. Some pikeish. I don't know. I think we're doing the right thing, man. I think we're in the right area. We just got to catch them. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm checking a text message. <laughs> that's, another, that's another male. Yeah, this little male buck. Male buck. Good work, dude. Thank you, sir. Good work, you little hammer. Choking that tube, too. Yeah. Alex is out here trying to salvage yeah. the night. You're gonna take your line. You're gonna figure out which way the hook's pointing and go towards whichever way the hook's pointing. You're going through his gills. And you're going to use, and you're going to pull it. Got to kind of be gentle because their gills can be fragile. Take, just like that. Dango magic, man. Look at that. Dango magic. Thank you. You're lucky, dude. <laughs> I saved you. That was me. I just don't know. I don't know why we're only catching little ones, but there ain't anything I'm doing at home. <laughs> Today, day one is over. Um, we actually caught some fish, and, and last year was very much similar to this, where we came out and struggled the first day. My first day with Mikey, very similar to this, we came out and struggled the first day. But we're going up north tomorrow. We're going to try to catch some really big fish, and we're going to do something really, really fun for you guys. Uh, it's always an awesome time when Alex gets out here and we get to fish together. and. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be a ton of fun. I hope you guys really enjoy these videos. If you do, please check out my boy Alex Rudd. 
His link will be down in the description below to his channel. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care. Deadlines. God bless.